Alright, so the next concept that we are going to learn is something called keyed data page. So you all know page data pages, right? So there is a, a variation of the same that is called keyed data page. So first let me talk about the business situation, okay? When you will be using the keyed data pages. <clears throat> so you might have often seen that we um, we ask the user to select or fill the address, right? So usually you select this uh, country and then based on the country you should get the state list, right? Based on the state you should get cities, things like that. So we usually configure a drop down. First drop down is going to be your state, uh, your country selection. The second drop down is going to be your state selection. All right. And as soon as you change this, this should be changed right here. Okay. So for that, we could use just one data page. Just one data page that will be of list type, of course, because it, it is going to fetch the list. But that will be keyed. That will be keyed based on the country. So based on what country you select, that's exactly going to reflect in there in your selection of the state. Okay. So that's what we are going to do. So first, let me configure two properties on a screen for the drop down. So we have this case type. So let's say I'm saying no. So I don't have anything here. So I'm going to just open this section and add two properties. So I'll add two drop downs. One is going to be state and we'll create the property state sorry country first thing is going to be country now this could be in any data page i mean you guys might have created address data data type you will have you will reuse the py country but for this demo we are going to use a scalar property okay so country let's create an open this is fine save it I'll, I'll come back to configure this later okay just at the moment adding those properties the other one is state just have two okay we will have just two state and country this one is going to be Saved. All right. Now we will create a table where we will have a state and we, you need to have it somewhere, right? It's stored or sourced. It can, could be coming from an API or table. So we will create a local table here to store that. I'll just add location. Okay. That's fine. Let's just create it. And I'll add a state and country. All right, so this is going to be a concrete table, right? So what we will do is, there is a global unique ID that gets generated by Pega called P, uh, the property that uh, is called PYGUID. So I'm going to ask Pega to automatically generate the key. I will not be uh, basically setting that up for myself. So see, PYGUID, Pega will generate that and store it here. Just replace it, all right. Now, source is defined in the record. Okay, configure source. This is all good. Let's just submit this. Close. And then we are going to add some countries. IN, UP, IN, HR, IN, um 
are the i n d l okay and then we will add uh, some other countries as well for example usa i l usa m a usa as okay Elon as the last comes okay, fine this is done now this is just like any other data page you created just a few configuration you got to change so in the location i'm going to add i mean we can use the existing data page or let's use that existing data page so list it has to be list should be fetching that it should not be parameterized you can have it parameterized as well but we in our case we don't need it parameterized okay so this is all okay it's fetching from the report definition no parameters needed here because it's going to fetch all the records in that table so all seven records right that we can see here in the px result see all right so for keyed data pages you need to define a key so here we will say i mean not the database key this is going to be the key that user will define so access pages with user defined key country is going to be our key now for every key do we want to have multiple pages yes because we will have for every country there will be multiple right so this is it so now internally this date this page data page will have a key structure okay for every country it will have a list of state so if you go back to your configuration here so country country is going to be okay so i will use the same data page to load country as well that is going to load country and state all that right so data page location list and here we will show the state sorry the country we will set that and we will show it as well that's for one for the state now the key data page must be put into a data um, uh, a property where that property will hold at one given time data for a particular country only okay so here we can define the data um, data page but that's not the uses we wanted it to be internally queued right otherwise it's going to i mean let me show you the negative scenario first if i just do the data page and i just show you the state list it's not going to filter out right we do not have any filter so it will show all the data if i create a case it's going to show me all the country and all the state right I mean, it's not USA. So to filter that out, we have the data page structure. We will create a page list property, and that property will at given time reference only one country's data. Okay, that's one thing. So let's do that. Um, so we'll create a property here. Another property. and that will be of type page list now this is the property that is going to be page list and it is going to store the location data and it will not be storing all the data so it will be using that data page the keyed data page okay so we can copy it or we can refer let's copy it over and this is what we call okay um so there is two concept here okay snapshot and sor system of reference if you copy the data that means at given time you are copying the snapshot sor means you refer that data you're not copying it over you are just referring that so whenever you are uh, using that data you are using from the data page only 
but copy means you are copying it from the data page to property we will copy here at the moment It will show us that anyway. So the country is going to be in country property on the work page. Okay, that's what we will pass. So at any given time, this property will be holding the states for a particular country or data for a particular country. Okay. Save it. Now let's go back here. We need to change here as well. At the moment, we configure data page. No, data page is going to give us the complete list. So instead of that, we will say clipboard page. And the page that we are going to use is state list. Property to display is state. Okay. All right. You could have used different data page as well. At the moment, we will see duplicate here. So because the data page is loading everything together, right? So we can remove the duplicate. But at the moment, let's just test this with this one, okay? So I'm going to create. So see USA. Okay, let me select that. India. Oh, sorry. We got to refresh that as well, right? So that the data is loaded with the appropriate. Appropriate country. On the change of it, we are going to refresh it. So initially, it's loading full. We will have to be careful about that. We will have to put select. Okay. But see, India only, Indian state, USA only us so why it is loading full first let's just set that up so here we will say first of all include placeholder select country okay that's one thing And the second one is we will again to select state and make it visible only when the country is selected. Load behavior. Uh, sorry, where is visibility? Yeah. Expression country is not equal to null okay so at the moment yeah we need to remove this duplicate so this can be done by using a different database and only select countries okay i'll show you that as well if you want to usa see if I change it to India, I have Indian state. Okay. Now let me just change that um, duplicate feature here. It's, it's something that we don't want, right? So data type, location, add data type, add data page. Country list. One second. Get country list. This is going to be list. Data trans report definition. Get country list only the country and here we have an option to remove duplicates row save it come back here that country list 
save it and that's what we will be using on the very first drop down right let's create another data page other case so india indian state us us state we can have it multi layered as well you can have city you can have uh, district or whatever you prefer like so this is in itself what key database is so basically having the data page uh, group the record based on certain key that you will define here it is grouping or basically keeping together the states based on the country so that's the key data page